early in the morning, getting the kid ready for school, but I need to answer these questions, right? So am I a player or an intellectual? I might be an intellectual, but I might be a little bit of a player too, so I don't know. I feel like we all have a little bit of both in us. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Can I count on one hand my sexual partners? Or do I know my number? Hmm. I could sit and try to figure it out, but I'd rather not. <laughs> I realized I was attracted to women when I was about seven or eight. And I was in a park and I saw somebody and I just knew I really liked them. Um, and I never told anybody. Um, and I didn't come out until I was a lot older. I didn't come out until I was in my 30s and I'd met somebody um, and I moved to North Carolina and my family was in, is in North Carolina and I met somebody and I wanted to bring them home for the holidays. So I guess I had to come out, right? How did my friends and family respond to me coming out? Um, I guess my family was a little bit more divided. My mom is a little bit more conservative, so it was harder and has been harder for her to grasp it um, versus my dad who is just an old school hippie and he was like, yeah, I already knew. Um, and my friends, they didn't really care at all. They just loved me for who I am and I've had those friends for years, so it kind of didn't even phase them at all. Would I be in a polyamorous relationship? I don't think so. I do have friends that are and it works for them. I just think that it would be a lot of work for me. I don't I don't know. I don't I don't think I would be in a polyamorous relationship. I think that I want to be in a relationship with one person, but I'm not knocking it cuz it works for people, okay? Everybody's different. Three words to describe a healthy relationship is communication, stability, and emotional intelligence. Favorite lesbian movie? Um, I have a few. Players Club, if you know, you know. Um, set It Off, Bite Me On That One, come on. If you know, you know. And Showgirls, so. My ideal first date would not be coffee or lunch, excuse me, I'm in the car, or dinner or dessert, maybe dessert. But my ideal first date would be going somewhere fun like the shooting range or one of the um, ax throwing places. I like to do activities like um, going to urban air and doing the high ropes, um, kind of just doing something fun and then doing something super low key, like then we can go grab a bite or maybe like grab a drink after. But I think that dinner is one, a little outdated, a little boring. Um, but I also feel like dinner is fun for like a second date where you kind of have already broken the ice, it's not awkward, and then you can kind of just sit at dinner and get to know each other. What was my longest relationship? Um, my longest relationship was about three years and she helped me raise my son, met us at when he was two, and is still involved in his life and is now moved on and in a happy relationship and we actually all hang out and it's cool, you know, we're just people trying to raise the next generation of people, you know? But yeah, three years is my longest relationship.